Welcome to Eternal Mena, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. As we live in the afterglow of Christmas, we are exploring the carol Joy to the World based on Psalm 98. And today we want to look at the third stanza. And again, I want to encourage you maybe to sing along or to repeat it with me. No more let sin and sorrow grow, nor thorns infest the ground. He comes to make his blessings flow, far as the curse is found. And again, what rich theology we find in these words. There was a curse that was pronounced on all creation when Adam and Eve sin in the Garden of Eden. And you can uh, read of that curse in Genesis chapter 3, verses 17 to 19. And the curse included the growing of thorns and thistles and where creation, the earth, was going to uh, rebel against man in his uh, search for livelihood and uh, in the struggles uh, that he is going to face uh, to earn a living for himself. Now, the Lord Jesus Christ reversed that curse when he came and when he died on the cross for all our sins. But even though the curse has been reversed, and as the verse, the stanza says, that his blessings have begun to flow. The elimination of the curse will only take place at the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Creation is groaning, eagerly anticipating the arrival of the King and Judge, the Lord Jesus Christ. And only then will the curse be totally lifted and eliminated. Only then there will be no more sin and sorrow and death and mourning and crying and pain. Listen to the words of Romans 8 and verse 21. The creation itself will be liberated from its bondage to decay and brought into the glorious freedom of the children of God. If you and I have sensitive ears, we can hear the groan of creation. And uh, creation has been so severely impacted by the sin of man. And we continue to pollute this earth. We continue to shed blood. We continue to uh, make uh, weapons of mass destruction. And sadly, all those are the terrible effects of sin and human depravity. But the king is coming and he is going to totally lift this curse. And he is going to let his blessings flow unbounded. And we are going to experience uh, the Garden of Eden before Adam and Eve fell into sin in all its fullness and joy and productivity, and health, and the divine shalom is going to be upon the earth. But that divine shalom can be experienced personally in your life and my life today as we let the Prince of Peace come and rule and reign in our heart. Amen. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Grace Gospel English Church Toronto. Thank you.